Hello everyone. Welcome to the next presentation of Quantpedia.com, the encyclopedia of algorithmic and quantitative trading strategies. In this video, we plan to explain to you how to use our product better to build new and innovative trading strategies. The primary goal of Quantpedia is to broaden the horizons of our readers in the field of systematic investing and quantitative trading. We do not aim to sell trading signals but to inspire and give fresh ideas of how to spend limited time and resources on quantitative research. Clients can adopt trading strategy ideas derived out of academic research or further adapt them to their needs and requirements. But the best course of action is to try fundamentally understand anomalies which are described in our database and explore their functioning besides the original scope of the academic research papers. So, in this video, we will show you three short examples, how to build on the anomalies that are included in our screener. The goal of the first example is to further explore the skewness effect, the tendency of assets with the lowest skewness to outperform assets with the highest skewness. The skewness ratio represents the extent, to which is the distribution curve distorted. If a set of data is symmetrically distributed, the value of the skewness is zero. In the case where the majority of data set values is concentrated on the left side, we talk about positive skewness. The average value of dataset is lower than the mean value. On the other hand, when the majority of data set values is concentrated on the right side, we talk about negative skewness. Now, the average value of the dataset is higher than the mean value. The best known example of skewness effect in trading is research paper from Fernandez Perez and others, the skewness of commodity futures returns. The team around Fernandez Perez examined the skewness in returns distribution for a group of 27 commodities futures contracts. Based on findings, the researchers proposed a trading strategy of going long on commodities futures with the lowest skewness in returns and going short on commodities futures with the highest skewness in returns. And how can we build on the original idea of using the skewness ratio to sort commodities? The best course of action is to try to expand the investment universe. We tried it and it seems that this anomaly is present not only in commodities but also in currencies, fixed income and equities. Trading strategy that exploits the effect of skewness in the multi-asset setting would improve the original skewness effect in commodities and earn an annual return of 7, 67% when leveraged to the 15% volatility. The second example shows how we can combine two completely independent ideas into one trading strategy with better performance. The first building block we will use is momentum in stocks, which is not only a key strategy in the many portfolios of practitioners, but it is also an attractive research topic for academics. Momentum anomaly is found practically everywhere, such as in equity indexes, currencies, commodities or bond futures. While momentum anomaly is a staple in the financial literature, the theory behind our second building block, the socially responsible investing or ESG investing, and mainly ESG scores are emerging. What's ESG investing? Environmental, social and governance investing refers to a class of investing that is also known as sustainable investing. This is an umbrella term for an investment strategy that takes into consideration not just the financial performance of companies but also their long-term impact on society and the environment. So, let's try to mix both strategies together and create a more efficient portfolio. We can use the knapsack optimization algorithm and apply it to the equity momentum and ESG scores to form two different scenarios. Firstly, it is possible to make classical momentum more sustainable or ESG friendly. In this case, the aim is to pick stocks with the highest momentum, but at the same time, maximize the ESG score of the portfolio. Secondly, the situation can be reversed, and we can build a portfolio with as highest ESG as possible while maximizing the momentum of the stocks. Both combinations can be an interesting modification of pure momentum strategy, they are both more modern, attractive, socially responsible and less volatile. The third example will be about calendar or seasonal trading. Once again, we will combine two completely independent ideas into one trading strategy with better performance. We will take a composite calendar strategy as a first building block and add another block to enhance the resulting performance. The composite calendar strategy consists of four simple sub-strategies which hold equity market only during the particular days of each month. 
mentioned four strategies are, the turn of the month in equity indexes, the Federal Open Market Committee meeting effect in stocks, the option expiration week effect and the payday effect we can combine the resultant calendar strategy with a second building block, the momentum overlay. This idea of combining momentum strategy with the composite calendar strategy could be easily understood. During the given days, there is a price pressure upwards because a lot of market participants are rebalancing their positions. So it seems natural to invest in assets that appear to be the most profitable in recent times, also in the belief that the assets would continue performing well. Therefore, we can expand our investment universe and use not only the US equities in the form of SPY ETF, but also MSCI EF ETF or EFA that tracks results of an index composed of large and mid-capitalization developed market equities and MSCI Emerging Markets ETF or EEM, which has exposure to both large and mid-sized companies in emerging markets. Suppose we use the signal from composite calendar trading strategy and invest into the best performing ETF out of the three mentioned before. Our enhanced strategy would be then able to outperform a simpler strategy based only on the SPY ETF without the momentum factor overlay. These were three short examples of how to use a Quantpedia as an inspiration and improve a few selected trading strategies, which links you will find in the description of this video. We hope you liked them. Make sure that you will miss nothing from quantitative and algorithmic trading strategy ideas and follow us on YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. And of course, look at our website quantpedia.com.